chapter 14 of the Gospel of John begins what is known as the farewell discourse of Jesus and continues till the end of chapter 17 where Jesus ends his priestly prayer. We hear today from the first six verses of chapter 14. And Jesus begins this farewell discourse by giving his disciples an assurance. And the assurance is this. Do not let your hearts be troubled. The trouble is because he is going away. He goes on to say, trust in God still. Trust also in me. There are many rooms in my father's house and I am going there to prepare a place for you. So that after I have gone and prepared you a place, I will return and take you with me. So that where I am, you may be also. It is an assurance so that we will not be disturbed by the departure of Jesus. And Thomas, who wants to know a little more about this enigmatic saying of the Lord, turns to the Lord and says, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus responds, I am, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. Three metaphors which the Lord uses to reveal who he is. The Lord is that way, that hodos, that leads to truth and that leads to life. In other words, if we keep following the Lord, if we keep following the way of the Lord, we will be led to truth and the truth will lead us to life. The Lord has revealed himself to us and the Lord has assured us that our place has been set by him that he has prepared our place right in heaven so our job is not to be concerned about what will happen after we die because we have the assurance of the words of the Lord what we must be concerned about is how we live in this present moment and what way we follow in this life Am I following the way which is the Lord? Am I following the way of the Lord? Am I imitating him in the kind of person that he was, in the words that he spoke, in the actions that he performed? If I am doing that, and if I am constantly imitating this way of the Lord, and I am constantly imitating the Lord in his self-giving, in his giving completely to everyone in need, then I will be led to the truth then I will be led to life. I don't need to be obsessed with the future. I need to live in the present and in the now. I need to follow Jesus' way. I need to become like Jesus to be able to lead myself through his grace to the truth and to the life.